Hi, um, I'm Dr. Varada Salimut. I'm an internal medicine resident physician at Baylor University Medical Center in Dallas. And I'm here at ASCO to present a poster on our project about AML. Um, this is my first time attending ASCO, so it's been really, really exciting um, and very exhilarating to be a part of this. Um, going into what our project is about, so we specifically studied the treatment of elderly patients with AML. And we sort of compared two different regimens in terms of their efficacy and outcomes in this group. So this is a real world um, global propensity matched retrospective study looking at outcomes in elderly patients treated with seven plus three, which has long been the favored induction regimen versus uh, decidabine and venetoclax. So as I mentioned, seven plus three has long been the standard for um, attempted remission induction in patients with AML, but recently there have been more studies um, talking about how decidabine and venetoclax may have um, similar um, efficacy, but also with a more favorable side effect profile. Um, we chose to take a deeper look into this and perform this global propensity match trial um, with 519 patients in each arm, um, one treated with 7 plus 3, the other with decidabine plus venetoclax, and found that there were statistically significant um, differences in the outcome. Specifically with regard to 12-month mortality, it was much higher um, with the decidabine plus venetoclax group. And then also with um, attempted remission being successful, um, that was much higher with the seven plus three group. And so our results show that um, in the treatment of elderly patients with AML, seven plus three does lead to um, better outcomes with regard to remission induction and 12 month mortality. Now the choice of which um, particular chemotherapy regimen is going to be chosen in the patient is a very complex and individualized decision that takes into account multiple factors, including the patient's medical comorbidities and medical fitness. However, um, our results do show that when it comes to strictly outcomes, seven plus three um, is superior in this group.